Hi, I'm Rocky Nichols and this is Funny Guy Food Reviews. Today, I'm going to try out braised eel. Now, I've tried this before and I've had some suggestions on how to eat it in different ways, but this is just a different brand. I'm going to try it the same way, just out of the can on crackers. Eels, as you might know, are snake-like fish. I live in the Great Lakes area, Lake Michigan, Lake Superior, Lake Huron of Michigan. And in the springtime, eels will show up in the creeks and rivers around the area. Yes, they do look like little snakes, but they're swimming under the water. Eels are not very flavorful. Quite often they're smoked, or in this case, braised with a lot of extra ingredients. This is a product of Taiwan, and the ingredients are thus, eel, soy, salt, sugar, garlic, corn powder, capsicum paste, monosodium glutamate, couldn't live without that, could we? Licorice powder, mm, maybe that's the secret ingredient to eels. Soybean oil, expiry date shown on the lid. Let's check that out. Hmm, must be written in some Asian language because I am not seeing the expiry date. Here it is, 2016. This is 2019. So as I've expected before, I'm not sure if that's the canning date or the expiration date. Either way, it is suspect. However, the can is not protruding or bowed out or ballooning, so I would assume there is no decomposition taking place within the can. The usual precautions, throw away paper plate, dispensable silverware, and the plastic bag to wrap it all up and throw it away before anyone gets home and smells it. Again, I usually use a substrate of saltine crackers or the more oily brand, which is known as the entertainment cracker. Not sure what is entertaining about this, but here are the two choices. We'll try both. Let's proceed cautiously. There is air or space in the can, so it's not filled with oil like sardines. I wouldn't expect anything to bubble out, but let's listen for the signature hissing sound. Oh, excellent. In this case, I could actually hear the air going into the can, not out. That's a good sign. And the can actually did the little oil canning sound, which means the vacuum was still, <clears throat> whoa, the vacuum was still good. Wow, powerful odor emitting from the hole. Let's proceed quickly. Ooh, looks good. Again, when you open a can top, very sharp, and just don't just pull it right off because it will flex and shoot little droplets of oil everywhere in your clean home. It's free. Let's dispose of that immediately. Those are rather inviting little fillets of eel. They don't even look eel-like, they look fish-like. I'm not sure if that's a fishy smell or if that's produced from the sauce within. It's not pleasant, but it's not terrible. It is bearable. I do like the orange-reddish color. There are some bones evident on the top fillet, and it is a rather rubbery, meeting, meaty specimen. Hmm. Less appetizing is the selection below it, 
which I can't get out of here, but it is displaying fins. Fins and the little spines that help the fins work. A little bit of skin on there as well. Eels don't have scales as far as I know, just skin. Well, let's give it a try. That is a rather large chunk. Nice. Far better than my first experience at eating these. Far better. Take a look again. You can see a less than appetizing slice or segment and a more appetizing selection to the front or back. They do have bones not so detectable when you chew them. Rather sweet, does contain sugar. There is a unique flavor, which is apparently a mixture of the licorice and something else in there which I cannot find. Very unique. Let's try one on the entertainment crackers. Who knows, maybe it'll be funny. Strangely not as appealing. The entertainment cracker has a little bit more flavor because it's made with oil. Saltine cracker has very little flavor because it has almost no oil. Very dry. As I found, the meat tastes much better on the tasteless cracker than it does on the one that has more taste. Here you taste the fish and the spices. Here. The crackers flavor adversely mixes with the flavor of the fish. My suggestion is saltine crackers. One more. just as good. I would suggest you give these a try. I can't tip it over, so I'll read the bottom. Braised eel. Anguilus grillus. I don't know if that's the Latin name or what, but it's Asian taste brand. I've had several of these now. This one is by far the best. You could eat these plain out of the can. You could eat them on crackers as I've just demonstrated. Or you could take the suggestion of one of my viewers and put them on a steamy bed of rice. I have yet to do that, but it sounds good. Either way, braised eel. Give them a try. They're really good. Thanks for watching.